国财政部长耶伦刚结束访中行程，宣称美中直接沟通后关系更加稳固，强调美国无意和中国脱钩。曾任上海美国商会会长的季凯文接受 TVBS 国际评论员余文琪专访，提出他的见解。People are talking about the decoupling and what that would look like. Inflation right now in the United States is the number one issue. Everybody is complaining about inflation, and I would say this: if you don't like inflation now, wait until we have a full decoupling with China, and see how much you like paying three thousand dollars for an eight hundred dollar TV. See how you like that. If 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 you didn't like inflation. You are gonna hate decoupling. 美国商界向来在影响美中关系方面发挥重要作用。季凯文在前美国总统川普执政期间担任上海美国商会会长。他说，当时面对的最大挑战就是2020年，川普突然宣布封杀微信，一句话抹杀商会在大陆的努力。To get market access, and here you've got a company like Nike, say for example, that has worked so hard to get a foothold into this into this market. And then all of a sudden, our own president says we can't take payments from、mm-hmm. Chinese consumers, because as as you know, I mean WeChat payment and other pay, but that that is simply the way people pay for products. And so the president says using WeChat is a bad idea. So you know Nike's customers, you know, can walk in the store, pick out a pair of shoes. They can't pay for them.、Mm-hmm. So how fast do you think it takes them to walk fifty steps next door to Adidas? And buy a pair of shoes. Adidas is not a not an American company; it's a German company. So no, the biggest problem was explaining this to the CEOs in 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 my own membership. 尽管美中之间仍有许多歧见，美国企业要在中国开展有许多挑战。季凯文仍然鼓励美企和中国做生意。For global companies, for the large businesses, it, it is a must. It's because basically, if you're a global company and you're not in the China market, the China market is so large. Yeah. You're not global, so the overall size of the market, even at the slower growth rates that we're going to see going forward, it's still going to be a must-have market from a size point of view. Ji Kaiwen said, "China market is not just big; it's also small. Its creativity is not to be ignored. There's so much innovation going on in China right now. So these global companies, if they're not in that market, they are not going to participate in that innovation." And their next global competitor, especially when you talk about automotive, their next global competitor is very likely going to be coming from 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 China. Ji Kaiwen won't say that American companies in China do business. The opportunities are still there. The global economy is still not able to catch up. How will the future develop? We'll have to wait for the China government's decision. TVBS News Network News Report. Want to see the complete news? Download the TVBS News App.